it's not like a mo- modern versus retro type of thing. I'm not into that. Like, is this game better? Like, for example, Tactics Ord, Tactics Ogre. I bought Tactics Ogre! Yay! It's coming out. It's a remake of... The, 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 the creators made it like in a Star Wars type of style. So it's not like one, two, and three. It's like episode five, six, and seven. I think that I think the most popular Tactics Ogre game is six or seven. Which I think remake is based on episode seven. But there's it's different. But it's not like you don't have to play it in order because, in my opinion, anyway, because they have like different settings. And they all have similar, like, backgrounds. Like, this happened 200 years ago, and so on and so on. I don't think you need to know all that when you start playing. But, um... Then they're gonna add, like, some graphic enhancements and something with the UI and stuff like that. So we're gonna see what it's like. Of course, you wonder... And, of course, there's the Final Fantasy remakes. And would, would you find that better than the original? Would you play with the original? I don't know. I, I see a lot of people playing the original lately, recently. So, um, anyways, what's the what's second attack out here? Grab bug! Hi. What was he in there? You okay? What's going on? I'm sure there are plenty of people out there who think that games were a lot better in the old days. It depends. Like, I don't, I, I said this before, I don't think, I don't see children, especially like my niece, I don't see her playing Dragon Quest, for example. She would play Dragon Quest Eleven. She loved Dragon Quest Eleven actually, when she played it, the demo anyway. She loved that, because, you know, it's colorful and stuff, story or whatever. It's easier to use, easier to, uh, you know, control. When it comes to modern audience, uh, we'll talk about that later. Let's see what he has to say. It, it really depends. Oh my god, Dragon Quest. Speak of the devil. Tongues don't, just don't stick with you. Not the, wait, wait, hold on. Let me, let, me, let me rewind that a little bit. Hold on, hold on. Game music back then was not, much more memorable. Songs just don't stick with you nowadays. That kind of thing. <coughs> Radius, yay! You're crazy if you say that. You're crazy. You, you just gotta play it. Try it out. You know? I mean, there's so many retro songs that just stick in my head. Like the Mario song I just I just said. These days we get a lot of singles. But of course, songs these days are orchestrated. So it's understandable if it's more charming. We get a lot of sequels. Drew Aga. But these were once a time where fresh new tiles were the norm. Mega Man! Games were a competition of ideas, then they used to be full of all sorts of surprises. Yeah. Hardware software rapidly advancing at that time, too. Yeah, I'd like to be surprised. They don't feel surprised. Yay! Mystery. Fantasy. Had. You, wikis, that spell everything out for you. Now you have YouTube videos of wikis. Adventures of the past were built on our own trial and error. Ooh, where are you going, Asakurai? Ooh, I feel like you're hitting something. I feel like you're, uh... Yeah, you know what? I don't know if I mentioned, I think I mentioned this already. When you used to have tips, sometimes you have to go on the phone to get tips. <laughs> you have to call, uh, like, I think a hotline. Or you had to buy a system for cheats. Or you had to buy a magazine for tips. And, of course, there's strategy guides and stuff like that. Yeah, you, you can go online. Stuff like that. The trial and error. But, but, but also back then, retro, older games were harder. And he said that before. And it was great. But, I'm sure there are also people who simply saw no appeal in modern games. So they tried from the hobby and put video games behind them. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, Sakurai. Because of all that, some people who used to play games only talk about games for the old days. Yeah. And treat those as a standard to which other games are held. But the thing is, it's kind of mean. That, that was then and this is now. The past is the past and there's no going back. The time we live in is now is also one day to be our reach. I say, hey, what are we trying to do today? We're trying to remake the old games or we're trying to bring them back. It's either classic mode or modern mode. That's what we're doing. 
bring with I mean, like in the arcade, there's Centipede. There's a new Centipede game. There's new, there's new modern Centipede. There's new Space Invaders, you know, and stuff like that. Still fun. I think it's more colorful. More Pac-Man? Bomberman? Well, Bomberman, how old is Bomberman? I don't remember. I don't remember. But Pac-Man. A lot of new Pac-Man trying different things. And, and I think Pac-Man still retains its old, even, not even with the, like the new the new 3D, uh, I guess, platform adventure game. But it's still main... I think Pac-Man often retains its... Um, its standards, I guess. You know, being in a maze-like um, field, I mean. So if you, we still play those games. So it's not like, oh, this is going to be awesome. It just really depends. Like I always say, as an as a individual player, I like things that are easy to control... And I don't, I don't mind little graphics, just a little balance, you know, it, it just depends. I don't like too much composition, too much story, like triangle strategy and stuff like that. But, I mean, it's fun to watch, but I'm not supposed to be watching a game, in my opinion. Of course, there's also those, like, Walking Dead games. That's, that, that's more like, it fits in that story genre like it's supposed to be what it's supposed to be like it, it feels like a visual novel walking dead so i can't really complain there so and i also got a visual novel on my on my switch so so it depends uh so we should really be enjoying the present day two absolute fullest those are the type of games that you know how it is that has the jo it's it's fit it fits the genre so it's correct so I can't complain about it. The fun of the game isn't based on absolutes; it's more of a related thing. Was I just talking about me being individual? Yeah, new Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is modern. Donkey Kong's awesome. It's still kind of the same. Naturally, the year you play a game, the personal situation, current trends, technological advancements. Well, was that? Oh, that was DDR. I thought that was. I thought that was Buster Groove. <laughs> All that can greatly affect how much fun you have a game. Effectively, how much fun you can have with a game. Oh my goodness. I feel the same way. I, I have to restrain myself to buy games because I'm a. I'm super busy, and it kind of makes me sad. And I feel like, and I, I think I said this many times before. I don't play as long as I do because I get tired. <laughs> I feel like an old man. Old woman, I'm sorry. But um, I'll play like maybe an hour or two. But that stupid Pokemon Scarlet got me playing for two hours and a half. Because it got me just, just, just doing random stuff. Like I'm just wandering around looking for Pokemon and filling up my Pokedex. That stinking game. Cheating my life. Cheating. Making me stay awake and, and do stuff. But yeah, but I think as a standard, I, I don't play much. It, it kind of makes me feel sad. I feel like I'm putting stuff up behind. I got to face the future. I got to face reality. Like, this is your new life. But at least I get to go home and play game. I mean, I always say I got to do it because this is... I... Uh, I uh, Let's see. <clears throat> what's the, what's the good, a good word term? I got to pick the right choices. Pick choi choose the right words. <clears throat> like, I really thank games for making my life happy, like comedy. Games, comedy, TV shows, I, I, mean, I, I appreciate all of that. So I, I still play games to this day, and I like to watch how it develops. Because like you said, technology advances, and it's very inter interesting to watch. Criticize it or enjoy it. I don't want to obsess over it. Just be fair about it. All these can greatly affect how much you can fun you can have with a game if you need proof proof try playing an old game and see how it holds up to a more recent one i already did of course there's certain charm and invention is only older games have kind of much three but in terms of total fun and breadth of gameplay susima i don't think they can measure up to today's more refined larger scale games it really depends though in terms of game design motivations <coughs> Old games arguably have more room for ex to experiment since design theory wasn't yet solidified. But let's not get into that. When, when you young and impressionable, the creative works for experience, games or otherwise, 
custom robo me the um video imprinting our memories and minds yeah when you're young yoshi certain works be real precious still it would be a shame to see someone bounce off modern games just because they can't live up to those special memories it's better to keep trying new and things new things right not to mention nowadays we have plenty of ways to play games from the past yes exactly yes don't don't tempt me please it's truly great to see mm-hmm it's okay just to focus on things you like but if you want to enjoy the present even more keep expanding your horizon try your hands and new things of course of course it, it, it's very typical i think you'll be glad you did stage clear no after all that was then and this is now stage clear yeah it, it's really simple really i mean if you're a game fan you don't have to be like me. Like, I'll, I'll try virtually anything. But, like I said, I have my taste. But, you know, I, I really like to see more puzzles, maybe. And I don't mean like Tetris or Columbus or something like that. Or Sakurai's game, Meteos. I don't mean games like that, like with the horizontal. It just pour, there's also party games, but it's really a matter of trying it all out. And, like, I want to play Forza Horizon. Of course I do. I play plenty of racing games, but um, cause they'll, they'll all have the same adrenaline that you give, that these racing games give. But um, but if you give up on gaming, then well, don't. It's either not. I don't think you do it because you're angry. It just it's just a different. It's just lifestyle. Maybe you can just pop right back in again. Like there's the guy. There's the story about this guy's grandfather who. Used to be a taxi driver. His grandfather's dead now. He passed away. But his grandfather was a taxi driver. And in order to keep him in motion. Or not to sit around a lot. His his grandson um, showed him car simulations. So he probably... I don't know if he ever played a game before. The grandfather. But he was really into driving. Playing the game. So it, it it's just a matter of trying things out. And how you get to it. I can't really explain the charm of older games that much. But, um, and I don't know if I want to call Dragon Quest 2 and 3 old because they're, they're, they're remade. They're, they're a little more advanced, especially with the new tactics or that's, that's going to come. And it's going to, it's, it still has that, that Square Enixy, uh, tech, what's it called? Not text. What the heck? That pixelated, um, Old school like tactics, old school Square Enixy style to it. It's probably gonna have a lot more um, stuff on the UI on the interface. But uh, yeah, well, I can't really explain myself. Of course, I can't. Just I'm not good at speaking, aren't I? It's just it's such a shame. But anyways, but. Uh, I kind of want to watch this again, just to just so I can just have a better understanding of his um what he what he's trying to what he's trying to give out here. But well, standards. That's basically it. Standards, right? So um, no appeal of modern games. But you know, one thing I really. Now that the game awards are coming up, I'm probably going to be at work. And I'm not going to bother with it anyway because I'm annoyed by it. I'm going to be missing, you know, world premieres. But I, I, I don't like... It's just crappy choices, typical choices. Fortnite again. Fortnite's going to most likely win best mo multiplayer or best progression or whatever. With Rocket League, you know I hate Rocket League. It's just going to cater to this um, populist audience. Yeah. So typical stuff. Not my thing. Is it really on? Is it really honoring something? So, I don't know. And then we get Pokemon Arceus with best RPG. I don't, I don't think so. <clears throat> so, um... And then Triangle Strategy, which I criticize. Anyways. Just typical stuff. I kind of like. I kind of want to watch this again, but off screen that is, so you know I could feel better. Maybe we have a full, fuller understanding of what he's trying to say. Well, anyways, um, 
let me get out of here because I got to go. Oh, man, it's almost 11. I'd have to leave like 1130. Hopefully I'll be okay because I won't have to stay long. I'll just, it won't be a pretty bad shift. Especially on Saturday. So 